Hey, everybody, and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of G League Basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Lakeland Magic going up against Team Ignite. Welcome, everyone. I'm Blake Suniga. Alongside me today are Brian Benefitemi and Tim Sports. Man, it's good to be with you guys. Always awesome to be here, Blake. Really looking forward to see how this one goes. And I'm expecting both teams to really bring it tonight. Yeah, and these guys know how important it is to play their best in these games, knowing they could be just one game away from making the NBA jump. And that one good. Great use of power by Diaz, getting through the contact and getting to his finish. Here's Onan, rejected by AI. And he gets it back, and they get it back. Akwebu outside. Over Bayless. Akwebu shot is off. He had the Lakeland Magic only an hour or so from Orlando. And that proximity to the affiliate is huge for players in the Obviously, they don't want to play in the NBA. So with it being so close, you're going to have the front office, the coaches, observing practice, getting to know those G League players as well as the NBA players. Now here's Aldridge. It's over Diaz. Here's Parrish, lays it up and banks it in. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. AI with it, inside. And it's MP missing. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Three Rice, that's good. Is. Boy, he loves getting looks like that from three point range. No one near him. Pass to MP. Right wing. Outside Diaz. Screen by MP. Six on the shot clock. Over Parrish. And he misses it off the right side of the rim. Here's Lakeland now. And the official signal, the backcourt violation. Not being careful there. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. And the big names for Team Ignite are part of the one-year program. They get compensated well as they prepare for the NBA draft. The team serves as a professional training center for elite talent. Just another fantastic path to the NBA. Now here's Onan. Pass to Aldrich. Onan a screen. Five to shoot. Here's Akwebu. Over Bayless. Akwebu's shot is off. And here's Palmer. MP outside. Oh, and a slam by MP. Big show of athleticism by MP. Going up strong for the dunk. Akwebu outside. Pass to Onan. And that'll be Lakeland's Still ball Lakeland. as it goes out of bounds. Magic able to keep the ball here. Substitution for Team Ignite, Jeffrey Thomas, Manuel Lawson. Now into the lineup for the Magic. Here's Akwebu. The eight-footer rejected by Thomas. To the middle. It's stolen. And look at this Team Ignite roster. It is special. A ton of talent jumping off the roster sheet. They'll need to fuse it all together over the course of the season, but this is one of the most talented Team Ignite rosters we've seen. A lot can happen over the course of the year. And the ball out of play, the Magic will have it. Harry Collins. Night leading. Now here's Palmer. Here's MP. 
That's in there. Palmer with the assist. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's Parrish. Outside Aldrich. Shot clock at five. Here's Akwebu, drains it from 17 feet out. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be waiting a very long time. To the paint, stolen by Parrish. Four on three on the break. Here's Onan, and he misses the go-ahead basket. And you look at Team Ignite, it's a great way to get experience and prepare for the NBA draft. You can't overlook how paramount a professional type of environment, professional development is. You know, on this team, the prospects can eat and sleep basketball 24-7. It's the only thing on the menu. You can't get that anywhere else. Uh, first look here at the former college standout MP. Decided to make the move to the G League for this year. And for his development, it makes sense. Had a good run in college and the tournament, so I'm interested to see how he fares in the G League. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the interior. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, impressive effort from both teams on the glass. That's good for the power forward. AI wants to hit his guys in their spots. Textbook pass. The magic trail. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Now here's Aldrich. He's covered closely. A three from Rice. The Magic with another miss. To the inside. MP. That's in there. Palmer with the assist. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Aldridge. Quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points in the game. Clock at six. Akwebu outside. Pass to Onan. Over Palmer. The Magic with another miss. Team Ignite on offense. They've only given up two points this quarter. Yeah, the G League hit hard by the pandemic, along with really every other league in the world, every sport. They had to cancel the end of the 2020 season. They played a, a short season in 2021 in a bubble in Orlando. To the left side wing, number three, Parrish. Three points. Second basket, he's two for two. He's got such a sweet three-point stroke, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opponents uh, out to the perimeter. A nice target in the pick-and-roll game. MP, he's got a nice soft hand, and he's strong finishing it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your death squad. Both teams deciding to change it up. For your Here's Akwebu. And with the G League, they ended up with a bubble series, and that made for some intense basketball. And I feel like that was the right choice for the G League because teams were still able to develop their youth, and it was done in a safe and controlled environment. Here's Dudley. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Hawes. Buries it from three-point range. Back-to-back so -back three pointers for them. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or you'll give up points in a hurry. Now here's Palmer. Here's MP. The rebound by Gilmore. Part of what makes the G League so exciting to follow is that it's really an ever-changing league. Yeah, from the teams to the players to the rules, it's always evolving. So each season really is anyone's game. It's stolen by Palmer. And they're on the break. Back to MP. Oh, and MP slams it in. Putting on a show with the fancy finish. MP relishes any chance he gets to throw it down. What a look on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Haas. He's got six. It's Akwebu on the wing. Pass to Haas. 
Shot clock at six. He's guarded by Palmer. Team Ignite with the rebound. Screen by MP. He goes up again. It drops. Oh, and that's his ninth field goal in the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. So defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. That's the end of the clock runs court. out, and we're heading to half. Team Ignite on top. They lead by eight. And we've got more exciting basketball action coming your way right after the break. So with the first half of play behind us now, how do you feel about MD's play tonight? He's finding quality shots, and he's making the most of them. With a great head on his shoulders, he's been able to outthink the defense. With moves to match, he's got the smarts and the tools to be an impact offensive player at the next level. And for many of these players, this is the first time they're getting a taste of professional ball. And when ball is your job, as you said, Brian, you get good in a hurry. There will be a lot to learn. But the first time, it's a bit of a, a trial by fire. Outside Rice. Zone in. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by AI. Bayless. Back to AI. Three, three, three. On the wing, Bayless. Down low. MP. That one falls to great assist by Bayless. We're seeing. Terrific focus from MP tonight. A young player who can just take over a game. Akwebu outside. Pass to Onan. Over AI. He clangs that Two one off the back iron, on. and it falls. It looked pretty, but he doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that open. Here's AI, and it's blocked by Parrish. Watch outside. Akwebu outside. Pass to Onan. Here's Aldrich. The three is up, but they recover it. Back to Onan. And it's going to be a goaltending the call here, counts. so they'll That'll count the bucket. Yeah, he thought he had that one clean, but the ref... Oh. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Now into the lineup for the Magic. Shooting for the Magic. Sean Dudley, one shot. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And the speed of the professional game, something incoming players always talk about. It's not as fast as the NBA, but it's a world apart from college. He'll take some getting used to for many first year teams. Aggressive move and fantastic finish. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. What message? I'm not sure. Just a message. Get out of my way? Yeah, maybe that. How about the messages? I'm one of the best dunkers around, and I'm showing you why. Because that's how you send it. Two hands and down. And you look at how the G League is attracting top high school talent now. What do you think that'll do to the college game? It could be good in that we'll probably see fewer one and duns. Universities can now focus on players who might be there for a while, and that could help continuity, which is a big plus. Here's AI. Here's MP. Yep, that goes. Love the hustle and the commitment. MP unwilling to let that position go to waste. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Team Ignite on top, up by four. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And as we get into the fourth quarter, how do you think MP has been so far? Well, he's making the most of his opportunities, and to their credit, they continue to feed him the ball and ride the hot hand. And that could be a problem in the team. Guys looking to prove their own medal as much as winning games, but no evidence of that here. They're rooting him on. Jacks up a three. Gilmore can't do it. 
Even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Yeah, as a coach, you can't stand seeing him have that much space to get his shot off. Here's MP. Oh, and a slam by MP. And here we are kicking off the G League season. A lot of games to be played. Well, the traditional G League schedule, 50 games. Not as many as the NBA, but it's still a grind. For many of these players, it'll be more games than they've ever played before. Here's Parrish. Misses off the left iron. Jay McKnight with the lead. Pass to AI. Now here's Bayless. For three. Drops in the tray. A few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away. It wouldn't surprise me with as good as they're looking at the moment. Absolutely right, Brian. They're looking really strong. To the middle. Here's Dudley. Yes, and a great play by Rice to set it up. They're on track here in the second half after a very, uh, very shaky first. Their field goal percentage is steadily climbing. They, they couldn't make anything in the first half. Palmer, that's good. Palmer. Well, you're just going to have to do more than that if you're looking to stop Edwin Palmer. What a superb job he does of brushing off the contact and finishing. Parrish can't get it to go. Inside. And the call will be against Parrish. That is his first foul of the game. And these calls, they can be some of the, the toughest calls for officials to make. Absolutely. But in this case, I think he got it right. The defender is still moving there and never got set. Pass to Bayless. Here's MP. And he bakes in the layup. And MP an immediate starter. T. McKnight felt that his talent was good enough to start right off the bat. And with a younger team like this, talent wins out. Not a surprise to see MP starting. He'll just need to perform so his spot is justified. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control this game. Palmer, that's good. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Side Rice to the paint. Parrish. Team Ignite with the rebound. And they can burn some clock if they want. And calm down. Get a little breather here, too. Pass to Bayless. Two Outside call in the game. Two minutes. Screen by MP. Beyond the arc. Team Ignite, rebound. Blossom. Back to MP. Another shot. Oh, and a slam by MP. Yeah, but Blossom has a good understanding of the game. Knows when to, to give it up and get it to a wide open man. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. And the Lakeland Magic, the 2021 G League champions, they were able to win it all with a terrific playoff run. Came in as the sixth seed that season, but they got hot at the right time. Great performance to lock in the franchise's first title. Just stay close to it. That was all the defender had to do there. Master Rice. Now Onan. To end the run. And it's good. Ooh, Fought through contact, hit the shot, and he'll go to the line. Shooting for the Magic, Drew O'Neill. Shooting one. And That's so it's the Andy McKnight game. taking care of business in this one. MP owned the boards tonight. The he helped them in the battle 16. of possessions and helped them win the game. Yeah, the energy. Yo, 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 you look tired. Bro, yeah, the schedule ain't no joke, man. Well, it's working. Me opening a lot of eyes, bro. I reached out to a couple of reporters, and a lifestyle reporter and a beat reporter are willing to sit down. Hold with on, you. when am I gonna have time for all that? Ah, uh, you don't really, but I mean, you can make time. I mean, for one of them at least. Yeah, all right, look, just give me the guy number. I'll make the I call. I never said they were guys. I mean, that's a really old school way of thinking. I mean, yeah, in this case, they are both guys, but all right, anyway, nah, you go meet them somewhere in the city. 
But let me know if this sounds like something you'd be interested in. I'll just show you where they're going to be at on the mat. Yeah, all right. Cool, Rick. Oh, one last thing. I've been doing research on both these reporters all day. So let me know if you need help making a decision. Hey, what do you know about that lifestyle reporter? Andrew Torres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Writes for Teed Up. He did that piece about uh, Jason Tatum's shoe collection. Oh, I remember that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, realistically, nowhere near the same number of readers as John, but he'll introduce the world to who you are off the court. Now, I mean, this is exactly the kind of thing that can help us with up your profile with music and fashion, everything that we've talked about over the last couple years. Now, he's going to be working at the cafe if you're interested. He said, feel free to stop by. He'd be happy to chat. Sound good? Let's just, let's just think about it. Okay, so who's this beat reporter? Uh, John Luck. He's a really great writer. Well, I'm not gonna lie, he's actually pretty basic. But there's a ton of people who read him, including some in the NBA. Now, he'd be great to establish that you're serious, trustworthy, and level-headed. Okay. But he's not gonna let you express your individuality much. <laughs> yeah, there's a trade-off. Definitely good if you want to go for that more corporate vibe. Okay, look, I hear you. Let me just let me think about this one. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. I appreciate it. I'm just I'm gonna think it through. Yeah, man, don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. How you doing, John? Hey, what's going My on, MP? MP. Nice to be here. <laughs> Yo, just thank you for agreeing to meet with me. This is exciting. No problem, man. Hey, your friend Ricky is not an easy guy to say no to, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'll just ask you a few questions, and then I'll write something up and introduce you to our readers. That sounds dope. All right, so now you're playing professional basketball. This has to be a dream come true for you. Uh, absolutely. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I've been the happiest with a ball in my hand, and and now I get paid doing for like I get to get paid doing what I love. That's hey, you know what I know exactly what you mean. You always dreamed about being a writer. I uh, know, um, astronaut. But uh, man, space is a tough racket. So what's been the biggest surprise during your time here with the Ignite Squad? I guess you know how well it's gone. I'm not saying it's been easy, but it wasn't 100 percent sure what to expect. And I think I've adjusted pretty well. I gotta say, you are not short of confidence. You know, I like to think I'm pretty good in my craft, so yeah. All right, man, great answer. Okay, last one. So you're looking into a crystal ball. Where are you 10 years from now? Man, I see myself on a yacht somewhere in the Caribbean with 10 rings on my fingers, awards on the wall. You just, just the whole nine. Wait, wait, are you, <laughs> are you telling me that you're going to bring all your awards on the yacht with you? Hey, yo, look, John, it's not like I got to pack them every time. You bring them once and they just stay there, man. All right, well, it looks like that's all I need. Thanks. Oh, that's it? Uh, all right, well, well, you're welcome. And if you ever have any questions or anything, just, you know, let me know. Hey, play well. Put up some points, win some games, and you'll give me something to write about. That sounds good. Thank you again, John. All right, take it easy, buddy. Yep. For this 2K Sports presentation of G League Basketball, we'll watch the Texas Legends in this one as they go up against Team Ignite. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me today are Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz. It looks like it's going to be a fun one. The excitement in this arena is palpable. You get a strong sense for how much energy these fans are going to bring to this game. These fans love their team, and they take pride in being heard. Most importantly, they really want to be a source of inspiration for this team. Hard to get that shot off with the size difference there. That makes them a, a really tough individual matchup, especially in the post. That's a big challenge he's taking on, going in there with the big boys. Great job. Hey, okay, he's at the big boys table now. Asked him a call. From outside the arc, can't hit that one. And we've seen some big names come out of Team Ignite already. The talent has been there very early. Well, of course, Jalen Green, the 2021 uh, big time draft pick, perhaps the biggest name to come out. Jonathan Kaminga as well. I mean, we should see over the years the alumni list expand rapidly for the G League Ignite team. Beasley, covered by MP. Just five to shoot. Over MP. Beasley, no good. 
here in the first with a little over a minute played so far. Oh, and a slam by MB. A player with Palmer's awareness won't miss the wide open man. He feeds him at just the right time. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Outside Diaz. And MP slams it in. That's a nice bucket. They're uh, really playing intelligent. They really are. And even though it's not a huge lead they've got, they're definitely in charge. Kind of get that feeling, Brian, that that team is playing so well. Here's McCaw. Inside, Beasley. To end the run! Another miss by Beasley. His stroke has looked very shaky this quarter. Not much is hitting the target. Rejected by MP. Team Ignite, one of the few teams without a city in their name. Yeah, and how come Team Ignite doesn't have Walnut Creek in their name? I was raised in Walnut Creek. That's my stomping grounds, and I got the utmost pride in my city. All I got to say, though, is that Walnut Creek is a great place to spend your time, whether you're an NBA prospect or just looking to have a good time. One more round of applause for your performers. They're not having much success at all right now. They need to reshuffle their lineup a little bit, try to find something that works. Wasted no time on that one. Well, it took them a while, but finally they uh, take the lid off. Sometimes all it takes is one to get a team going. Let's see. Yeah, Brian, let's see if this uh, offense gets anything going. Now here's MP. That one a little long. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's O'Brien. It's rebounded by Team Ignite. Outside Diaz. To the paint. And MP gets it to go. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. And something that all the young players are learning on the fly, just how difficult it can be to manage your team as a pro player. It's difficult for any of us to manage our time, let alone if you're a basketball star trying to make the NBA. So these young men have been trying to find a balance as the season wears on. outside and there's the pick pass to Schroeder Waters outside five on the clock Hawkins misses he didn't punish them for the weak coverage but they can't count on him missing he's got to go right back to that shot screen by MP on the wing Bayless to the inside MP that one falls to three assists by Davis. Great teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. They're playing as one. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. Great team basketball. Now here's Hawkins. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Let's the three fly. And it's MB with the rebound. On the wing, Bayless. Hawkins covering. Back to Bayless. Back to MP. Pass to Bayless. And here's Palmer outside. Offensive rebound, Team Ignite. On the wing, Diaz. Over Waters. It's hauled in by the Legends. And as we go deeper into the year, these players are starting to find their rhythm. And I think the nerves are over, especially for Team Ignite with so many young players. Those early game, early season jitters, a distant memory now. And stolen by Pollard. Hawkins outside. Roeder. And once again, off the mark by Texas. In an overpowering first quarter effort, already 
a double-digit advantage. Team Ignite on top, up by 12. And back in a moment. All right, through the first quarter, what are your thoughts on MVP so far? His domination of the boards has been terrific so far. Seems like every missed shot has landed in his hands. Good positioning, good physicality, impressive stuff from a G League talent. I'm going to be interested to see just how they counter him in the remaining quarters. Obviously, they can't let him just own the glass. Pass to Bishop. Six on the shot clock. 11 feet out. Rejected by MP. And here's Palmer. Screen by MP. Back to Bishop. Now Palmer. MP. Kicks it out to Bishop. This one for three. That falls. Easy speed that time from MP. One of the best things the NBA has done for the G League, two-way contracts. At first seeing them back in 2017, it allows players to freely go between the G League and NBA teams, really helping with their development. And the basket two by Beasley. Terry Beasley. Well, uh, you don't see that too often. The fadeaway shot when he's wide open. Now here's AI. To the middle. Here's MP. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, they've come from inside the paint. Pollard with it. Now guarded by AI. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. It's going to go on AI. And with MP on the floor here, he's starting to get some chances against guys that either played or will play in the NBA. And those possessions, really, those are the ones that scouts are most interested in. They want to see how a guy like MP stacks up against near NBA talent. It's one of the most valuable things to be learned in these G League games for front offices. And he knocks down the first one. And what a trial run for Team Ignite last year. The first half. Ignite the ahead. The They're up by six. And we'll step away briefly, quarter. but get you right back Your out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. The Legends, 28. So with the first half of play behind us now, how do you feel about MP's play tonight? What a performance on the glass. He's not a center with any fear of the physical aspect of the game. That much is clear. And despite all the finesse big men out there right now, NBA coaches, they still want a center who's a banger. A guy who can handle the tough duties down low. Here's Hawkins, rejected by MP. Textbook defense from MP. That's just got to pump him up whenever he's able to come up with blocks. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. For your team and his first trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And a little background on MP here for Team Ignite. He actually has a steady following from the internet. He ran a channel where he'd upload videos of him playing ball. That shot, no good. Good work defensively by AI. A nice little lead they're enjoying here, and they deserve it with all the work they've put in on the glass. They hold a big margin in the rebounding department, completely dominating the boards. Beasley grabs the miss. And those videos MP would upload, man, they spread his name like wildfire. Part of that popularity might have helped him make it to Team Ignite. I mean, being a big name, it can't hurt. But now he has to back up his notoriety and show he's more than just a name. Pass to Bayless. MP. Count that as his seven field goal in 10 tries. That's 70%. And MP is just taking charge right now. Every time he gets the ball, he's looking to score. Here's McCaw. He's guarded by Palmer. Now here's Beasley. Good, 
and the assist goes to Waters. Great job to orchestrate from that close to the hoop. Here's Palmer, and the dunk by Palmer. Yeah, that's just a clever drive by Edwin Palmer. He spots an opening and cuts to a shot. And last year, I mean, what can you say? It was interesting. And the Legends opted out of that single site season. Yeah, they were one of 11 teams that decided not to participate. Just a crazy situation. Everyone reacting to it just a little differently. But glad to have basketball back and some more Texas Legends basketball. A three from Diaz. And teammate yes. number eight hits again from Dave Diaz. Well, you know, offensively, Brian, they've been really special. Yeah, you nailed it, Tim. No matter what the defense has thrown at them, they've just kept piling up the points. And more points. Pass to Beasley. Over MP. And that one hits back iron. And here's Palmer. Left wing, down low. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three so both teams making some changes here. Franklin Batista. Coming onto the floor for the Legends. Here's Lyles. And the Legends call time here. He's certainly been looking for a shot so far, but it hasn't been falling. Frankly, I think he should look to pass more and get others involved. Let's hear it. Both teams will make substitutions. One more round of applause for your performers. Substitution for Team Ignite, Manuel Lawson, Jeremy Bishop. Substitution for Covered by MP. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Pollard. Four on the clock. Pass to Lyles. Shoots over Palmer. The shot, no good. And Team Ignite going the other way now. And since the first time we saw Team Ignite, there has been some definite improvement. You can see the players becoming more and more comfortable with the speed. The more they play, the more things slow down. Come playoff time, they'll be right at home. Here's Lyles, covered by Bishop. Now to O'Brien. Pollard, pass to Lyles. O'Brien, the screen. Shot to stop the drought. Rejected by Lawson. Perfect Two defense right there from Lawson. Great timing on the rejection. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Now O'Brien. Up top, Pollard. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Lawson. Outside, Palmer. Pass to MP. Releases. That's in there. Palmer with the assist. What intensity from MP in the paint. Not allowing the contact to hold him back. And one advantage that G League has, you learn to play in NBA-level offenses. Many teams run the same offense, the same system, with their affiliates. So you get a chance to see the timing and movement of what NBA teams do, and it helps make that transition if you're lucky enough to get a spot in the NBA a little easier. But he stays with it. And it's Lyles missing. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Team Ignite. Team Ignite on top. They lead by 14. And... And as we get into the fourth quarter, how do you think MP has been so far? I tell you what, he's been all over the court. In for your Team Ignite. Substitution for Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your dance squad. And the Legends organization started strong, established in 2006 as the Colorado 14ers, and they made the finals twice in their first three years. 
and since Dallas bought them, they haven't gotten past the first round. But they've been a big part of the Mavs process, particularly for guys who are rehabbing injuries. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their MP. Oh, and a slam by MP. So easy into the air, the hang time MP. And you look effortless. Pass to Hawkins. Outside Howell. Lyles. Good, and it's Howell picking up the assist. Hey, guarding him on the perimeter, it isn't a priority for them right now, but it will be. He keeps hitting those shots. Now here's AI. Defended by O'Brien. Offensive rebound. Here's MP. And Beasley with the block. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Shakes him. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by AI. On the wing, Bayless. MP, Beasley covering. Back to MP. Thomas outside. To the paint. It's stolen by Beasley. Here's Hawkins. Team Ignite with the rebound. 22 was their biggest lead. Inside, it's stolen by O'Brien. Pass to Howell. Beasley over AI. Beasley, no good. And here is AI. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. MP with it, back to Palmer. To the middle. Here's MP. Hangs. And the layup is up and in. And while making those hustle plays is one of the many things MP does to help this team. Here's Hawkins. So it's the end of the night taking care of business in this one. With his aggressive defense, MP helped them get stops when they needed them. He made a great impression tonight. And a great way to get noticed in the G League is through your defense. And MP got noticed tonight, that's for sure. And that's a wrap on this presentation of the G League. Thanks for joining and take it easy.